Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the 31 Days of Halloween. If you can't already tell, today is going to be our clown look. Um, so I already got the costume on. I took off my makeup, so we're going to get right into this. I normally do a super gory, kind of bloody clown. But you know, I wanted to change it up. I'm digging the primary color vibe. So I kind of want to do like glitter, just a uh, simple makeup that you can do at home without having to get the blood and everything. So that's what we're going to go for today. We're just going to start on the face. If I can find the prime. Oh, it's here. <laughs> so I'm going to put this on first, uh, just to kind of protect my skin. And then we'll go on with that. I actually think um, I'm going to do some of the black because I always do this to myself. I do the white first and then I have to go in and put the black over top of the white, the like triangles, and then that's a pain in the ass. So uh, I'm going to go in a little different this time and see uh, how that works out. And the theme I'm really going to do is we're going to go the primary colors um, that's on my outfit. I've actually never worn this clown outfit out. Um, I bought it, I don't know, like, I want to say two years ago now, and I've just never worn it. Um, it was some spirit, so I thought, hey, why not do a makeup look with it? And we'll see that instead of my typical clown costume that you saw in my videos of past costumes and different stuff like that. Or if you follow me on Instagram, you know I love clowns. And yeah, so I'm just going to do basic kind of triangle looks. So I'm going to start up here. I'm just going in with an eyeliner. You can do this with anything. I'm going to color it in with the liquid one. But I just wanted to get the kind of shape I want first. It's just a very loose kind of uh, idea of where I want that. And then we're going to start on the eyes. So the first color I really want to do is I'm just going to take um, a glue. Just kind of smoke that out. Again, just sticking kind of with the primary colors. So and I'm going to go all over my eyelid and then into the crease area with the blue. And for this, I'm just using my uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Pigment Palette. Um, this is the Volume 2, but I could be wrong with that. But I just like all the colors it gives you and gives you a nice kind of build up. She's so going up almost to the eyebrow just to get that kind of look. I am going for like kind of um dreary kind of sad clown so if it's a little bit um not perfect on either side is fine i kind of want to look sad and gloomy that's what we're going for now i'm just going to take some of um this color right here which is like a shiny blue color and i'm just going to take that and Blend out my eyeliner. Blend it into the brow area right there. Then going with my pigment, I have just a yellow. We're going with. I'm just gonna press that in to the center of my eyelid. And then I'm just gonna go in with this color here, which is like a gold. It's still keeping that kind of yellow tone, and I just want to add a little bit of uh, sheen because I'm going for like a glittery kind of look. We're just gonna uh, make it look kind of dreary and sad. Sag, so I don't know Halloween things going on this year. And then I'm gonna take um, 
another blue shade it's a little bit lighter and i'm just gonna smoke out along the bottom of my lash line which i will go in and fill in with some uh black later but i just wanted to get a little bit of the blue pigment down there okay so the next thing you're gonna do is the lips and the eyes so i'm gonna go red just to pull up that third primary color you can get like a fake clown nose but i'm just gonna draw one on there And then I'm gonna go in with my uh, poke palette and take that red pigment right there and just right on. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my Mac, just lip pencil, velveteen, red. Sad clown. <laughs> it's a little weird when I smile, but that's okay. And again, going back in with the glitter, I'm gonna take this red glitter right here. right on the nose um you can use a uh, glue or glitter glue or like an eyelash glue to really pop it but again i'm just doing it for tonight for this video and then i'm going to take it off because i work tomorrow really early in the morning so that I'm doing for my clown is uh, black. So I got my jumbo uh, black pencil, that's the point from NYX. So I'm just gonna use that to fill in. I just want to finish off the lips to make them pop a little bit more and I'm just going to So now I'm gonna go in with the on white to be a little bit of a lighter kind of pigment. And I'm just taking a sponge just to kind of spread that around. Yeah, I'm not going to do like a full coverage white because I, I want it to look kind of uh, sad and all kind of smudged.
again, I'm just doing a really kind of uh, messy side column. Huh? So you can do way more um, pigmented, but I want mine to look all kind of smudgy. Yeah. <laughs> And just go in with that blue just to can really emphasize that color we'll put them in the middle here I still kind of look creepy no matter how I do my clown makeup, but want to put on a little bit of mascara smudge it a little bit like I've been crying I think that is the final makeup look for you guys. Um, so, just a easy makeup look. I was going for kind of a cutesy primary sad clown with a little bit of glitter, but I think I look more creepy. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Will you come play with me? Please. I don't want to be alone. We can play forever. And ever. And ever. <laughs>